So uh, I'll show you. Uh, here it comes. The uh, you can create SOP for a single material or group of material, which is called the product group. Okay. If you want to create a SOP, sales and operation planning for multiple material, then what we do? We create one group. Okay. okay. And the group member will be your materials, right? And if you want to create for only one material, there is also a facility to create for only one material. So for that, uh, first of all, we need to create one plan. This is created through MC87. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm just, this is our, this is not a demand plan. This is our forecast to production plan. Okay. Here we'll have a multiple option. I'm taking a, This finish pipe, okay, and our plant is fixed. Triple one, uh, four time one. See, as I press the enter, system dynamically create one version. Okay, I, I'll have a trip uh, version up to triple nine. Okay. okay, this is my say. I uh, suppose if you want to create multiple versions, so as, if I press the enter and I save my plan, it then. It means that that plant belongs to version 009. If I again, if I again go and create another version, say uh, 010, then again a multiple version. So here, see, this is a. <clears throat> that's why it is called. It is called the sales and operation planning as well as the rough cut plan. The first step of sales and operation planning is creating a rough cut plan because this is not our actual plan what we are doing here we are forecasting so forecasting is always based on some assumption it is rough in nature okay so here we can define our cells suppose i have defined here my cells as this much in a month of october in a month of november, november I again defined this much in a month of December, again define this much. Okay. Now suppose if you have some production plan already. Now uh, how to sing here? If you can see that this is your you can define your cells and you can define your production and you can plan in both the way. Either you define your cell and copy your production plan, create your production plan, or you define your production plan and create your sales plan in a both way. Yes. Okay, you can here also define the target stock level. The stock level which you want to keep in your company. This is this approach is used for your FMCG product where they define their target stock level that my stock level of say uh, Dettol Sabon should be of uh, 10,000 pieces. Okay. Yes. So now we can now I'm create a production plan by referring the my cells synchronization with cells. So if I copy it here, so what is saying that your cells is this much, your production is this much. But I can change here. Right. If I change here, see, system is saying that your stock level will be will be reduced by ten thousand numbers because you are planning for fifty thousand, but you are producing only forty thousand. Okay, so this is a very simple one. What have we done? We simply created one version, planning version of rough cut plan for finish pipe. Right now, I'm save it. Now I created a one plan. Let me one second. Let me note down. Double zero nine is my plan. But this plan is not an active plan. It is still in an active, inactive mode. Okay, 
so for activating or it i need to copy in a system you can have a multiple plan in a inactive mode but you will only have a one plan in a active mode okay so what i am doing here this is my source plan you can say that your source plan will be your tentative plans which you will created like we have created recently triple double zero nine if you created 10 11 20 30 this way this so this is your source plan while your target plan will be a default single plan so this is my plan zero zero nine my is plan now no. When we talk about target plan, here we keep always a triple zero one. This is a standard plan. Whenever you, I mean, any industry, anywhere you go, uh, go, you'll find the active plan as a a double zero plan. Okay. Now what I'm now I'm what I'm doing? I created one tentative plan. I'm converting my tentative plan to active plan. So this is my source plan. This is my target. So I'm copying here. Hmm. But it will already exist because somebody has already copied the plan. Okay. So before copying take place, target version reset. Mean that it will reset whatever is your previous plan. It will override your previous plan. Okay, now it has overwritten your previous plan. So, first we created a one plan, inactive plan. Then we copied inactive detail to active plan. Now, it's a time to convert or transfer your active requirement to demand management. Now, your demand management comes. So, whatever we have done, we created a one plan. And uh, the copying plan is a part of your sales and operation planning. Rest of things will be same. So how to co copy this to demand management? See, this is here we can transfer our plan to demand management. See, my material is the same. Here we can transfer in these ways. Sales plan for material or PG. It means either you want to transfer a sales plan, you want to transfer your sales plan with the proportion in a at the time of uh, planning we can suppose you are planning for multiple item okay and in that planning you want that i should be i should be able to assign some kind of percentage say 60 percent of production from will come from first material 40 percent will come from second material okay we can define here this that's what is proportion is taken then come the production plan for material and PG member. Here, PG member means my product group member. As I told you that right now we have created one plan for material. In a similar way, we can create one plan for product group. In that group, the member of the uh, your materials will be the member of that group. Okay, so I'll do one thing. I keep a date of... Uh, Now it is asking me that independent. If you remember, then in demand management, we talked about the depend requirement type, independent requirement, dependent requirement. So we talk about the requirement type here. We are going for make to stock production. We already seen the config part where in requirement type, what we have defined, we define that how system will generate my procurement proposal. In case of a make to order scenario, system will generate my procurement proposal and planned order on basis of my demand management. Okay. And in the second thing in requirement type is the consumption of dependent requirement. How it will be consumed? Like, suppose you created a one 
plan in make to order situation first is first thing is that on basis of a sales uh, on basis of a demand management system will give you the one planned order that planned order can be converted into production order for production purpose this is a one part okay the second part is that you have a de what is dependent requirement when we create any production order in that case on basis of our, our bill of material system create some reservation in background okay so these kind of reservation is called the dependent requirement so how system will consume this dependent requirement so here we define that system will consume dependent dependent requirement on basis of my input now here we can also define that in which version i want to copy this is my active first of all we created one inactive version then we copied that inactive version to active version and in a similar way in a demand management itself you can keep multiple versions okay so what i'll do here i'll keep say i'll take this 10 okay now simply transferring okay so it has created no. at least one active version already exists in database table it mean that some active version is exists no issue now it is transferred now we'll go and see this in our demand management for demand management t code is md61 see here default is coming requirement plan double zero but i have copied my demand to plan num uh, uh, version 10 simulation 10 okay and planning horizon was of this you know here we assigned our planning horizon at the time of copying okay see the for this month we have planned 90000 Right. Okay, so this is again. If you see, if you have understanding about the demand management, so demand the sales and operation planning is one, uh, one more layer over demand management. It help us in forecasting our plan. It help us in managing our plans. Okay, now this is your plan. Now what will happen? Suppose you change your plan. I'll do one thing. I'll repeat it again. Now I'm going to change my plan. Okay, okay. Here, if you see that, yeah. as I go in the change screen, system is giving me two option. Which one you want to change? You want to change your inactive version. See here, you want find the double zero nine as an inactive version. It is showing inactive okay. version. Copy it, na. Okay, it is showing the list of an active version. An active version, it will be showed a uh, double zero. This is my active version plan. A double zero. Okay. So I'll change my inactive version, double zero nine. this is you can assume that we are changing our planning see here we can say that earlier we planned for 50000 as sales target and 40000 production target so there was a deficiency of 10000 now here in this case the deficiency will be overcome and a and 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 our and normal also Fifty thousand, fifty thousand. Why is the deficiency coming? This is this is this is the deficiency is carrying from month of October here. This is carried for here. Here is the owner. Hmm. This 
what i change my i change my inactive version will it will it have any effect on active version no see my active version is as it is means i change my planning but i hasn't transfer my planning to real scenario when it will be affect my real scenario when i copy my planning version from ha uh, right ha uh, see if i copy here see before copy text to like target version reset means it will reset all the details okay it has reset now what i'll do I'll, i'll do one thing i'll transfer this requirement to demand management again same scenario everything is same i'm transferring from period of december okay now we'll see the demand management what happen in the demand management part md61 in md61 we have used the version 10 for month of december Okay, ninety thousand. Okay, and it was eighty thousand. Hmm. Okay, this is a very, very small one. Demand sales and operation planning is not that much. I mean, sales as I told you, sales and operation planning is used basically for the forecasting purpose. this is this is a tool which is used by the mainly the planning department or ppc department okay though those are planning because the, on basis of their uh, uh, production volume or sorry sales volume changes they keep on changing their sales plan and after that they'll keep on transferring uh, from uh, your sales plan from inactive version to active version 